happy weekend to you all out there. Uh, man, I'm so excited for the news that Pastor Chris delivered that uh, we will be starting to open our services back up. And I am so excited to see all of you so soon um, if you're able to make it out. And uh, just to echo what Chris had mentioned, um, there's many of you where, look, the best place for you is to continue to live stream it from your living room. Um, and so if that's the best way for you, like that's okay too. Um, but as we slowly start to ramp up and get things going back, I'm just uh, really looking forward to some face-to-face -face interactions. Now, going through my devotional, um, some of you know, uh, like the 930 traditional service, I've read this once before. Uh, I've used this in a staff meeting before, but my wife Jess and I's favorite devotional to go through is that of Jesus Calling devotional. And today's was just fantastic. Um, and so I just wanted to read you this devotional and hopefully bring some encouragement to you uh, from, from this amazing May 9th devotional. So it says, don't be so hard on yourself. I can bring good even out of your mistakes. Your finite mind tends to look backward, longing to undo decisions you have come to regret. This is a waste of time and energy leading only to frustration. Instead of floundering in the past, release your mistakes to me. Look to me and trust, anticipating that my infinite creativity can weave both good choices and bad into a lovely design. Because you are human, you will continue to make mistakes. Thinking that you should live an error-free life is symptomatic of pride. Your failures can be a source of blessing, humbling you, and giving you empathy for other people and their weaknesses. Right here, here's the, here's the kicker. Best of all, failure highlights your dependence on me. I am able to bring beauty out of your mistakes. Trust me and watch to see what I, what I will do. So as the cliff notes here, as it wraps up, talks about that mistakes are not sin. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to do things. And man, we like to beat ourselves up about what we said or maybe what we thought or whatever it is. Um, but mistakes are just part of being a human being as this devotional points out. Um, but scripture talks about here, if you want to follow up with Romans eight twenty eight and Micah 7, 7, that God turns our blessing, I'm sorry, turns our mistakes into blessings. The thing that we don't need to live with anymore are the regrets and that's what we're supposed to release to him. So if there's any regrets out of mistakes that you've made that you're still hanging on to, go into prayer about those and just discuss them with God and give those to him so that you can understand that, hey, I made a mistake and that's okay. And God's saying like, look, we're gonna grow because of that. Um, but the regret is just something that you can let go of today. And I hope you do. So anyways, God bless you all. And if you need anything from the church, don't hesitate to reach out. We love hearing from you. God bless guys and have a great day.